Hi friends, welcome to the session on wave equation. Right, so we are going to derive the wave equation in this uh, class in free space. Okay, so we have to use uh, Maxwell's equation to derive that. Okay, so first we know what is wave. Right, so we know that a wave is a information carrier. Right, so any wave carries information, or it is a energy carrier. It is carrying some energy fine so uh, and another thing we have to know about wave is it is a function of time and space right so this we know so these three are uh, important things that we should know about wave especially the last one it is a function of both time and space uh, so it is talking about uh, parameter so in mathematics we will get this only right it is an information carrier that uh, everyone knows okay now we will derive uh, wave equations in free space right in magnetic field first uh, in terms of magnetic field first and in terms of electric field second both are same only right the procedure is same right only the parameter is going to change right so now we derive wave equation in free space in terms of magnetic field first right so we must know what is free space free space is a dielectric medium that i told i have i have put one video on free space please refer that video for detailed uh, information about free space right so and it has no free charge so q0 hence uh, charge density rho v is zero there is no charge there is no charge density there is no charge there is no current current is current density is also zero fine so this is the condition for free space. Now we will derive. Okay, so we know that uh, first we write Maxwell's equation for free space, right? First we write uh, del cross H is equal to uh, do E V do T. Fine. Uh, otherwise I write clearly, so you will understand, right? So what is that? Uh, we know. First equation delta D is equal to rho V, delta B is equal to zero. Then uh, what do you know? We know that uh, del cross E is equal to minus dou B by dou T. B is equal to mu H, so mu dou H by dou T. And uh, del cross H is equal to J plus uh, dou D by dou T fine so we are going to derive the equation in free space so rho 0 rho v 0 and j is equal to 0 so rho v 0 for free space therefore delta d is equal to 0 free space this is not applicable next another thing is j 0 so it will be cancelling so del cross h is equal to uh, dou d by dou t D is nothing but epsilon E. So epsilon constant, take it outside, dou E by dou T. Now I have to derive wave equation for magnetic field in terms of magnetic field. So wave equation in terms of magnetic field means I have to take uh, two equations where we have magnetic field. Let us take uh, this equation. So what is the equation? Del cross H is equal to epsilon E. Uh, so let us take this equation number one, equation number two. This is three. This is 4. Del cross H is equal to dou E by dou T. But what is the problem with this equation? It has both magnetic field and electric field. Right? I want to derive wave equation in terms of magnetic field. So I want everything in terms of magnetic field. So what I need to do is I substitute, uh, I take a curl of uh, both sides for equation 4. So what will happen? Del cross uh, del cross H is equal to epsilon dou by dou t del cross e fine okay so now i know what is del cross e it is in terms of h so if i substitute equation number three here the total equation will be function of h that is what i want okay so i make it epsilon dou by dou t instead of del cross e you substitute minus uh, mu dou h by dou t now left, left hand side is h right hand side is also h so now it is very easy for us now we can proceed so what we get is del cross or del cross h 
is equal to minus mu epsilon dou square h by dou t square. Fine. And uh, we use uh, one vector identity. What is that identity? Del cross uh, del cross h or a is equal to del into del dot h minus del square h. Fine. So this is the identity we are going to use. But del dot h is equal to zero. Already we know. Where is that? Del dot um, del dot h is equal to zero. Why? Because this implies del dot mu h is equal to zero. Take mu outside mu into del dot h zero. So mu del dot h is equal to zero. So del dot h is zero. So what will happen? This part will go away. It will be out. So left hand side I put uh, instead of del cross del cross h I put minus del square h is equal to minus mu epsilon dou square h by dou t square. So this implies del square h is equal to what you get is uh, mu epsilon uh, dou square h by dou t square. Fine. So you see uh, this is equation number 5 right let us assume that is this is what equation number 5 okay now you see this equation in terms of h alone right only h is present that's a beauty fine so you see here it is h here it is h okay but we know h is uh, h is equal to uh, it has i component and j component hx plus jhy plus uh, sorry z uh, k h z it's a vector h is a vector so i can write uh, this one is a three dimensional vector so this is what h so this implies what is del squared h del squared h is nothing but dou squared if i take del squared h dou squared h divided by dou x square plus dou square h uh, by dou y square plus dou square h by dou z square right so you see uh, equation this equation let us assume this is equation number six right what it indicates it indicates h varies along uh, x direction y direction and z direction you see h varies h is varying with respect to x h is varying with respect to y h is varying with respect to z that's what the left hand side indicates okay so this indicates h varies this is what del square h okay so h varies uh, along uh, x y and z axis yes Okay, similarly, we know that uh, here h varies as a function of time, right? So, here you see, here right hand side h is varying as a function of time, right? So, this is h is a uh, h varies with respect to t. So, what is the wave definition I told? It is a function of both time and space. You remember that? Yes, you see, it is a function of time and space that's why we got this so this equation represents wave equation for magnetic field because this is telling that h is varying as a function of space xyz is a space and h is varying as a where is h is a function of time so what is the this is the equation we expected so del square h is equal to mu e dou square h by dou t square this is a wave equation for magnetic field in free space let us call this equation number a so this is a wave so what is that this is a wave okay now we derive wave equation for electric field by using the same method right so left hand side is same the if maxwell's equations are same what we have to do we want to write every equation in terms of electric field here we did every equation in terms of magnetic field follow the same procedure okay so what is that we know del cross e is equal to minus uh, mu dou h by dou t same thing right 
from equation number 3. Fine. Now I derive equation, wave equation in terms of electric field. Right. So here again you see the, it is a combo of uh, electric field and magnetic field but I want the equation in terms of E. So I replace H in terms of E. So I, cross, I have del cross H. So take curl on both sides. So del cross del cross E is equal to minus mu rho by rho t del cross H. Fine. So now you do this dou by dou t. Instead of del cross h, we substitute this one. Del cross h is equal to epsilon dou e by dou t. From 4, substitute 4. Okay, from 4, del cross h is equal to epsilon dou e by dou t. If you simplify, what you get is uh, minus mu epsilon dou squared e by dou t square. Right, so use the same identity. What del cross del cross e? Here, what do you use? Uh, del cross del cross h. So, what is del cross del cross h? It is minus del squared h. Similarly, if you follow the same procedure, the left hand side will become minus del squared e. Same procedure. If wherever you find h, you have to replace with e. That's all. So, what is the thing? Del squared e will be equal to mu epsilon dou squared e by dou t square. So now you see everything as a function of uh, electric field. Now it is also a wave because uh, the whatever the explanation I told for uh, h it is applicable here. Here e is a function of time. Here e is a function of space. I told in the h field no the same logic. So, this equation is a wave. So, this equation is a wave equation for electric field. Wave equation in terms of electric field. So, what is the wave equation? So, simply we can write del squared h is equal to mu epsilon dou squared h divided by dou t square. Similarly, del squared E is equal to mu epsilon dou squared E by dou t squared. This is a wave equation for free space. Wave equation for free space in terms of electric field and magnetic field. I hope you understand the derivation. Right? I will explain the meaning of derivation and the implication of this meaning, meaning of this equation in the next video. Thank you.